I would like everyone to know I have made a fantastic discovery. I have discovered you can buy little milk tea packets and make milk tea at home. So if you guys have been following for a while, you know that I tried to attempt making my own milk tea like from scratch. I don't know what I made. It tasted good was not healthy. Cannot confirm the nutritional value of this, but I can confirm she is tasty. I tried it yesterday for the first time. We are here for day two. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. Today is Monday. For me, Monday for you. Fun, just a week difference. <laughs> okay, I wanna try this. Like, this is so good. Today's a very exciting day, maybe. I'm trying not to get my hopes up. Obviously, I'm starting off with my hopes up, so <laughs> off to a good start. By the time this is live, actually, you might have seen my kitchen already, but as of right now, look, I have not. And I'm thinking that today, being Monday, they would assemble the kitchen. I don't really know the timelines. I'm just thinking and hoping that that would be happening today. Also, my sweatshirt that I'm wearing is actually from a subscriber. I actually, so I went out on the weekend and I met like quite a few of you. It like really makes my day to meet you guys in person. It's so nice to see a face versus an account name. It makes it feel more real, if that makes sense. But I was sitting with some friends and the sweetest subscriber, Luana, came up and she gave me this sweatshirt and she said, the nicest things to me and it just genuinely made my day. She's an artist and she made the sweatshirt herself. It's super, super cool. It's just so cool to like wear something that one of you guys made. I, I freaking love it. I'm just so appreciative of the kindness that I've received and yeah, so I'm wearing it. I had a great weekend. I went out with some friends on Saturday, went to Shars on Friday. On Saturday, I actually made a flower crown. I felt like it was back in 2014. <laughs> this one store was doing these free flower crowns and we were like, Sounds great. So we made flower crowns. We were there for an hour. It was really fun. But yeah, great weekend. Last night I did my nails. I made them fun. Look how cool. Like they're not perfect. So let's ignore the imperfections, but look at just the nail part and it looks very fun. I wanted to be one of the cool girls. So I painted cool girl nails on short nails. I want to see if my parents are down to go to the Restoration Hardware outlet today. I feel like that could be fun and maybe the items would be a little more affordable or less painful to buy, you know? Okay, we have made it to the outlets. We're in the garage and I, I kind of feel like I'm at Disney or like back in California. I haven't been like to an open parking garage for a long time. It's really weird to say. I don't know why I am like this. I mean like a little bit. It's pretty dirty in here. This is pretty gross actually. I don't even, I'm not gonna show you guys because no one needs to see this. Restoration hardware is right there. There are other stores. We're gonna have a fun time today. Yeah. Okay, we're having a really weird moment. We feel like we have traveled. The heat hit everything. I feel like I'm in Arizona or somewhere else. We're going into the restoration hardware. Bar stools, this could be fun. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Ooh. Thousand bucks from five thousand dollars. Eighty percent off. Yeah, look at it. I know it's a little fucked up. Yeah. But like maybe manageable. For a thousand dollars, you you could get something. That's true. That's New. not fucked up. That's very fair. Yeah. This is a cool rug. You're right. This is too big. Crazy. Art. Oh, there's so many fun things. I kind of like this guy. That is $4,000. <laughs> it's a no for me. I like these. They're a thousand each. Why is art so expensive? This is cool. It kind of looks like the YouTube play button. I mean, obviously it's just a triangle, oh, but. Yeah. And it fits my aesthetic. It's just also very expensive. Good, good. Cool. Oh, here's like bathroom vanities. Oh, these would be great for my backyard. No. This is a great couch. Too large for my place. Still very expensive. These some nightstands would be cool. These are nice. 800 bucks. Oh, that's a pretty decent deal actually. Bad. But I think they're too big. This is a beautiful dresser. How do you, okay. You have to, no, you pop it. 
There you go. Oh, look at this coffee table. A thousand bucks. Yeah. It's like nice. Yeah. They have some cloud couches here. This is a nice lamp. Ah. Smaller. I know. These are really nice. They have yeah. smaller versions, but on the website. This is pretty. Yeah, the end table. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much they're selling this for. Oh, here. Okay, so it's still 6600 for the couch. Okay. okay, let's go. Not a bad line. Well, it's kind of weird. Some people are wearing their masks outside, some people are not. We're obviously fully vaccinated, but I feel like an asshole walking around without my mask on. People are gonna look at me like all of those guys, mm -hmm. you know? But I've realized it feels like we're in Palm Springs. That's the vibe I'm getting right now because of the way that the heat feels. Gucci has less of a line. I'm here for it. Okay, actually we're gonna go to Balenciaga. So the lines are super fun. <laughs> we waited like a while for the Balenciaga line. They're only allowing like two people in the store at once. Felt like we were gonna wait there for an hour and then I was gonna feel like I had to buy something. And that's not right. So we're roaming around. this burrito bowl it looks so good actually we have chickpeas corn guacamole chicken rice we're gonna share it because it's massive <gasps> <laughs> this hot out there so we didn't go into a single store other than restoration hardware because the lines were so long it's very very hot outside you know what we got a good lunch out of it it's very yummy we're both nice and full and now we're gonna head back to the city would you recommend mom i definitely would recommend just not, not currently. During the <laughs> pandemic. Wait till the capacities kind of open up a bit. Okay, it's been an hour. A little nice long drive home. A little road trip. We did a little Q&A on my Instagram in the car, which I think really helped pass the time. It did help. You know, it, it definitely made things a little bit more fun. We were stuck in like crazy traffic too, so it was just like, this is a great activity. Got to chat with you guys, answer some questions. And now we're heading to their house. I'm gonna see Brady and then I think I'm gonna go with my dad to see my house. I wanna see Boo Boo's and she's gonna take Brady to the park so she's not gonna come with us. We usually go to the house around park time so she always has to decide house or let Brady play with her friends. Exactly and usually, usually it's 50-50. Brady needs her play time with her friends too. Of course, we all need our social activities. Yes. I get it. Is it me or is it Tara? Or is it me? Is it me? Brady? Yes, you come with me. <laughs> baby girl? Hi. Oh. Hi, little girl. Oh. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Ouch! Back in the car. Hello, Faja. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to the house and I don't know if there's gonna be a kitchen assembled. I don't know. You guys know if you watched Friday's video. I don't know currently. So we'll see. Fingers are crossed for something, anything. Oh, things from the kitchen have been moved. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This looks way higher than it did. Like what's going on here? What do you mean? It looks low. No, that's the wooden shelf. It's a, it's no, it's not the one. It's not the one. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No. Dad. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, that's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Where do I start? So here's the basement bathroom. This is in the wrong spot. Just as a heads up. But there's gonna be a wooden shelf. Should be lower, but a wooden shelf, and then the vanity will be above it. The vanity is not currently here, but that's the wooden shelf. Okay, and then the laundry room. Holy heck. Okay, so here's the cabinets in the laundry room. So I'm gonna have my washer dryer down here. I'm so small, man. I'm so short. These are gorgeous. They look great. They look fantastic. Oh my God, so what is this kitchen gonna look like? I didn't I didn't think that the top things would be. These are great. Yeah. It's a good move. This thing nice, is this is gonna be a, like a bougie little laundry area. Placing. Yeah. Oh my god! I wonder if the vanities are upstairs. This is okay. I'm very happy 
We walked into kitchen. I kind of feel like my vanity might be upstairs. Yeah, let's go upstairs too. Oh, Lordy Lou. It's becoming a home. It's becoming a kitchen. <laughs> I'm so nervous now. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Vanity. That's a big vanity. It's a big vanity. Holy shit. I think this would be a sufficient storage for me. Okay, so the sink is obviously going in the middle. So these two side ones are like little half drawers, which is perfect. So for like my everyday stuff. And then these are very large. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this is going to be actually six inches off the floor. And there's actually going to be lights underneath it. So it's going to look very bougie. That's massive. How did we manage to fit? A vanity of that size into this little bathroom. It looks almost too big. You want to measure? What's the number? I'm going to tell you what the number is. That's the number. Okay. Wow. So it's going to fit in this spot perfectly. And it's going to be floating. And it's going to look gorgeous. I cannot wait to organize this in the organization videos I'm going to have. Wow. So we were here the other day. Was it yesterday maybe? And I discovered that I cannot reach any of the top racks here. Like literally not at all. Even on my tiptoes, even climbing up on the closet. So I think we're gonna ask if we can actually bring it down a bit and then do a shelf, just like this one. Yeah, I'll leave that open. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Okay, and then just kind of have that match all the way across and then bring the bring the rod down at the same level as this one so you can actually reach that. The short person problem, and I am making this home custom for myself, so I should be able to reach my coffee, you know? But obviously I didn't realize that when we were sketching the designs. I'm not a professional, so. Open the other door also. This one? Yeah. I'm freaking obsessed though. It'll be a shelf that goes right across, just like this is like continuous. Yeah. So it'll, it'll be nice and clean. That's what I'm thinking. And then rod, rod, rod. Yeah, just bring it down a bit. And then... Although it kind of bothers me because I like that this is obviously the same height and then it'll be like weirdly cropped. It'll just be for blouses or whatever. It's not a big deal to make the change, obviously. But is it going to look weird because it's not even? I don't think so at all. No? No, like yeah. having one of the rods way lower and it's not going to be the same height? Well, the rods across the top will look even. Right. right. From here and here, you're not going to care. I can't believe my face. So pretty. I just, nice and minimal. Same thing here. Yeah, they all have to come down because I can't reach any of them. It's very sad. And that thing is almost, it's almost the same, but it doesn't matter. It's Love it. Really oh my God, I can't wait to organize. Like I'm going to put my everyday skin stuff and then I can do my everyday makeup in here. I don't know. This is going to be so much fun. I want to see what's upstairs. It's in its place. No. Ah! Careful. Oh, there it goes. Wow. It, it looks so much bigger than I expected it to look. Look at the light on it. I know, it's gorgeous. This is what mine's gonna look like, but double. At least double. Well, oh, that's a, a false. Oh yeah, right, the top one is false. And then these are full. This will be plenty for you here. Absolutely. And this is also gonna have a light underneath it. Toilet will be here. Oh, the shelves are here too. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Obviously they have to put these ones in too, but they have a couple of them in and they match perfectly. This looks so, it's really coming together. I love that look. And then I want to do like little rolled towels here and then bath bombs. Wow, we are going to have so much fun. I get so many messages and comments being like, I'm going to be so sad when the reno videos are done. But I swear that's when we're going to start having fun. Like then we get to decorate and organize and like make this place a home. And you guys have watched from like beginning to end when this ends, which is crazy. We've seen it go through so many changes. This is why they do the paint at the end. Yeah, nice. I love this. I am so happy with this. This feels like a, actually like a very regular sized bathroom. Yeah. This doesn't feel tiny at all. And this one was really bad. This is great, nice and light. This is, yeah, this is nice. And we'll have like the nice mirror here versus like in that cramped. This is so much better. This room really made a hell of a transformation. Yeah, and the toilet's gonna come out to maybe about here. It's a narrow toilet, so it's not gonna seem like it takes up too much space. And uh, soon they'll be able to lift this. Yeah, I can't wait to see those the floors again. They're gonna come in here and do the fillers and it'll be like one last coat of paint when they, you know, just start leaving floors behind. The electrician will put all of the covers and they'll put the hardware on. I really can't believe this. What a transformation this whole area. <laughs> I know, it's 
actually, I love this bathroom. I really love it. And I wanted this to be like my spa like bathroom, you know, not the regular one, the spa bathroom. So for the self care nights. And I really feel like it's fitting that like those little wooden shelves really just, that's a nice little addition. And then imagine the vibe too, when we just have the lights underneath the cabinet on. Well, just how light it'll get when the white floors come out. Yeah, it's gonna be vibey AF. That's far too small. Exactly. Maybe even like a little bigger. I kind of think that's better. It's almost like six, like four, and you're six. not gonna have people passing by. No. Two, three. Or maybe we do four and then make, if make, make everything look taller. I what do you put up there? You don't even see it. Just a little decor. You can see it. Let's do four. Yeah, we'll just, might as well have it. So I, I want to have some shelves built for this room, for this wall. I'll put the inspo picture in right here. I think that would look really pretty. And then have it match with all the other wood accents in here. It's on its way. I have so many plans in here, I can't wait. It's gonna be like decor crazy. Yeah. So her, this. Let's do four. Four, four is like that. And the question is how many? Hold on, if it's kind of centered, right? Like mm -hmm. about like that? Yeah. You've got this, so it's gonna come out about here, so no chance of anybody Getting knocking it. No. You would probably have one starting here, mm -hmm. and then two, and then three max. Yeah. No three more max. than three. No more than three. We're gonna do shelves over here too. This is going to be functional. Like I'll have really, I'll have my cutest kitchen stuff on display there. I've always wanted floating shelves in the kitchen. So this is kind of the perfect spot. I'm so excited. By the time this is live though, you've for sure seen the whole kitchen, the whole thing, but you haven't seen, you hadn't seen the vanities or the laundry. It's a good vlog. She's having a good day. Wow. Yeah, and then they're just gonna push the stove in here. When the stove arrives, she one will go day. here. One day. <laughs> one day. And then right across from it, you've got your dishwasher. Back. Can you actually measure to see what this is to the floor? I just want to measure it um, when I get to the apartment. 62. And soon the floor will be done. Yeah. This week. We were told that this week the tile guy would be coming back, finishing the basement floors because we didn't have enough and we finally got those in. And then also my bathroom in my bedroom. So maybe that'll be the next vlog. And then eventually they'll put these doors in here. Look at my laundry. Wow, today's a good day. We're home. Wow, great day. It's actually 6 p.m. now, but I got my Hello Fresh box, so I'm gonna make that for dinner. Let's see what we got. Ooh, what? I've never gotten this in my Hello Fresh boxes before, and I don't know if this is specific for me. Slash, I don't think that Hello Fresh would know this, but I'm really excited. For those of you that have been watching since I was in LA, and during the last year in 2020, I loved making little drinks at the end of the day with little wine beverages, and then mixing other stuff into it. And my favorite thing to mix was this by coconut Mal malachi coconut drink and i have two now oh my god wait i have not had this since la this drink is fire it's so good i have missed you honestly i'm gonna have to have a glass of wine specifically just to mix this wow okay that's really nice thanks hellofresh now for the recipes Ooh, red lentil and sweet potato curry Ooh, what's this grilled halloumi bun. It's like a grilled cheese sandwich. And last but not least, we have veggie poblano cheddar burger with Beyond Meat. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All of these sound really freaking good. We'll see where I'm at in like an hour, but I think we're gonna have a fantastic dinner with some kind of yummy drink. It's all around a very good day. I'm on a high right now, guys. I am up here. Okay, I'm gonna settle and I'll see you in a bit. Oh my God, it immediately brings me back. I can close my eyes and pretend I'm there. That's so weird, so delicious. I still stand by this a year later. The Bai Molokai coconut drink with wine, 10, 10. Okay, I have to figure out what I wanna eat, which is tough when every option sounds really good. I think I've made my decision. I think I'm gonna go with the grilled halloumi bun with basil aioli and potato wedges. Okay, let me get my bag of stuff. We have our HelloFresh bag with all of our pre-portioned ingredients, which is perfect because there's less prep, less waste, just the perfect amount that you need. Most of the recipes are like 30 minute recipes, which is really ideal because I like to cook things quickly. <laughs> and honestly, I think the best part about HelloFresh is that they have so many recipes and that there's always gonna be something new for you to try. And if you haven't tried their subscription yet, it's very flexible, which is amazing. You can always skip your delivery and then get the next week or whenever you want it again. Very, very flexible, which is obviously ideal for most people. Okay, we gotta do this thing. I'm ready.
absolute deliciousness. I am so excited. Look at my little fries. We gotta do our taste test together. I don't really know how to get into this thing. She's rather thick. Mmm, it's so good. The pesto mayo. Fire. HelloFresh is always my favorite and they're also a really great company to work with, great company in general. Throughout the pandemic they have been committed to providing really fresh and delicious foods in a very safe way to their customers and keeping their employees safe. It's just an amazing company and I seriously adore them to death. As you guys know I do have a code. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code at TaraMichelle14 for 14 free meals plus free shipping. All of the info will be in the description box. Highly recommend checking that out. Mm, 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 mm. I'm actually gonna get the rest of that pesto mayo to dip my fries into. Look at you guys. Unreal. But I feel like this vlog is so long. There was so much going on today, but I'm gonna get on FaceTime with Shar. We're gonna do like a little girls night on FaceTime. So I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and seeing my stuff in my house. I'm so excited. There's so many fun things right now. And I'm also, no, I'll save it for another vlog. There's a lot going on and I cannot wait to tell you everything. But I seriously love you guys so 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 much you're everything to me i love your comments i love your support i love your kindness i love everything but every single one of you so i just want you to know that but yeah i will see you guys in the next vlog bye